Elwin Crocker Sr., Mark Anthony Wright, and Kimberly Wright, their pictures you see right there, are the Effingham County Trio accused of killing two of their children and then burying them in their backyard. It's a story that we have been following for years, and our Andy Cole reports from Springfield. There have been more than 60 pretrial motions filed in the Crocker case, but after two days of motions hearings, this case is inching closer to trial. It's been a busy week at the Effingham County Courthouse. For the first time, we learned that Elwin Crocker Sr., accused of killing his teenagers Mary and Elwin Crocker Jr., was interrogated by police for eight and a half hours. The defense said the first four hours weren't recorded, but they want the court to listen to the second four and a half hours of interviews. Instead of reviewing those in court, the lawyers agreed to allow Chief Judge F. Gates Pede a private review in an effort to save time. On Thursday, the defense argued that the grand jury that indicted the trio wasn't random. They say one of the jurors was summoned twice, putting the entire indictment in jeopardy. Friday morning, the state was originally scheduled to examine a witness about this, but canceled. In turn, Judge Pede told both lawyers he wants written briefs on the grand jury challenge by the end of February. Here's my thinking, um, is that grand jury is dealt with by the end of February. Um, that gives me February to fit in four and a half hours of listening to uh, the, the uh, statement. Court will meet again for two days in March for what is expected to be the final pretrial motions hearing. Overnight, the defense prepared a subpoena and written statement to be delivered to the FBI regarding DNA evidence, what relevance it has for the case, and how they plan on using it. We're looking at maybe end of April to send it for a you know, review. That's just a loose timeline. There are less than a dozen motions that remain to be heard. It's expected that this case will move forward after that two day motions hearing scheduled for March. For now in Springfield, I'm Andy Cole, WJCL 22 News. And right now you can find a detailed timeline about this case dating all the way back to 2012 on our website, WJCL.com.